Boy, Charlie. Yeah, dude, good day. Just got it done. Did exactly what I said I was gonna do. Um, what an interesting race. That's probably the way to put it, man. Um, it, well, first off, started at 5.15 a.m., so it's pitch black. Like, we start, luckily, on kind of one of the main roads along, like, in San Francisco on the out, outer skirts of the, of the city, and so that's pretty lit, but then you get into literally a couple of bike paths and like shooting through this area called Fort Mason before the Golden Gate Bridge where like can't see anything. So like literally had to like take my shades off, almost ate it once on a sandy portion. Um, and truthfully, there were a few sandy portions, a lot of uphills. So really just through the race, the goal is like attack the parts that I knew it could attack well. Um, don't pound the downhills too much and then just like be strong on the uphills. So just made, through, made sure I followed through like Split wise was obviously nothing, nothing sexy this week. Um, ran 2:22:30, which is actually my slowest marathon ever, um, by like two minutes. But again, it is what it is. Like 1,400 feet elevation gain alone is a workout. You know, I could go do this in Boulder tomorrow if I had to. You know, um, so. But throughout the race, again, it was going back to what I was saying about, you know, attacking where I could. Where, pretty sketchy the first like couple miles. Like once we got out of downtown. Um, some big uphills, but then like there's a couple flat sections where you know I was actually manually splitting my watch because I don't necessarily trust GPS in cities as you shouldn't. So a little race tip for you there, um, manual split it. So um, from like three to five, I ran 10:07 for that two mile split. So I was running 5:03 mid for two miles. Um, then directly after that, had a basically mile uphill that was a bit well. I didn't get that three mile split, or I got the three mile split. I didn't get the mile split. Said I was on like 5:25 pace for that, but over half of it was uphill, probably like 5.40 pace, and then trying to catch up, you know, running probably 5.10, 5.20 pace. It was honestly just like that for a large portion of the rest of the race. Um, just taking what the course gave me, not forcing anything. Um, a gnarly amount of climbing, and even to the last part where it technically flattens out, the last probably 10K of the race after 20 miles, you're still, there's a couple like steady cl climbs and super, star like super, super sharp uh, descents where like, you really can't rip as hard as you want to because you're just like pounding the absolute crap out of your legs running down. So um, definitely wasn't able to push as much as I wanted to on the back half where I was still running, um, you know, five teens high, which is, is great considering the elevation gain and where I was at in training. I mean, this week was 130 miles. Like just finished off the week today, 30-mile um, morning in total, and ended up uh, going to Golden Gate Park for a second mile, for, excuse me, a second run. Um, just wrapped that up a couple hours ago, 10 mile run, 727 pace, um, super chill. So I got 40 miles on the day. So, um, this is a race we really didn't taper whatsoever for. Um, yeah, just, it's a good day's work really. Now we're 41 days out. So basically just under six weeks till hundred K world record. So, um, in a great spot, good day. Um, job done. Honestly, awesome weekend. The shakeouts were incredible with Puma. Boom team's awesome. Um, Liz Rock, Greg Castro from their team and their entire staff. 
um, blew it out of the water. So huge thank you to them. And also to just, you know, the whole rod, rod team for really like bringing up this idea for, you know, shooting the whole race, the series. Um, hope you guys liked it. We're definitely gonna be cooking up some more, hopefully. Um, and yeah, just a super, super fun weekend and uh, definitely more to come.